as an inline element is displayed in. This would be true because the inline elements appears on next to each other unless and until you have given a, a space or added a spacer to it. How can you make a number list? In order to make a number list that is called order list, we need to select OL. OL stands for order list. U will stand for unordered list. What happened? We are waiting for the next question. There are 40 questions and we are still on 13. How can you make a bulleted list? In order to make a bulleted list, we use UL because that is unordered. What is the correct HTML for making a checkbox? In order to make a checkbox, we use input category and we, you, you, we make that type of checkbox. So the last one is the correct option. What is the correct HTML for making a text input field? In order to make a text input field, we use the input category with the type text. So we will select this. Okay, so what is the correct HTML for making a drop down list? In order to make a drop down list, we can select input type drop down. What is the correct HTML for making a text area? Is this one? Oh, sorry, correct text area. For text area, we have text area uh, element. We don't require input element there. This is with HTML5. You have a particular element called text area. What is the correct HTML for inserting an image? For inserting an image, we have an IMG tag, then we have a SRC attribute to specify the source of the image, and ALT, which you can see, is an alternative text where, in case if your image fails to load, what should be displayed there? So, first one is the correct one. What is the correct HTML for inserting a background image? In order to insert a background image, uh, first one is the correct one. It gives a background image, then the URL of the image where the URL, where the image file is located so that our website or our web browser would be able to fetch that. An iframe is used to display a web page within a web page true. The HTML comment starts with this and ends with this. That's correct. I'm sorry. So block elements are normally displayed without starting a new line. Block elements are normally displayed with a new line. Because they, this is why they are called block elements. They are not called inline elements. Which HTML element defines the title of the document? The title of the document is defined by the title element. Which HTML attribute specifies an alternate text for an image if the image cannot be displayed? It's ALT. Which doc type is correct for HTML5? For HTML5, we have not doc type HTML that this one is correct. This stands for HTML, hex HTML, so we can ignore this. And there is no doc type called HTML5, so we have doc type HTML that is simpler one. Which HTML element is used to specify a footer for a document or a section? So we have a HTML element to specify a footer. We have a footer element itself, so we can select footer. In HTML, you can embed SVG element directly into an HTML page. That's correct. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I am selecting false, although I know the answer is true. So this should go true. Click on next. All right, we are 29th question, so we have 11 more questions to go. What is the correct HTML element for playing video files? In order to play a video files, we have a video element as well. So we can select video. The W3Schools website is slower. It takes a lot of time to load. Next question. So 30th question is, what is the correct HTML element for playing audio files? As we had a video element, we also have audio elements in HTML5. So it doesn't matter. So these equals and these kinds of questions are too easy for anybody to answer, but this is not an actual test. So you will not be getting this kind of questions when you go for $95 test. The HTML global attribute content editable is used to specify whether the content of an element should be editable or not. Update content from the server. Return the position of the first found occurrence of the content inside the screen. Specifies a context menu for an element. Now, the first one is the correct. It specifies if you can edit the content or not. In HTML, on blur and on focus are event attributes, HTML elements, and style attributes. So it's an event attribute. What happened when you blur? Suppose what happens when you click or put you put the mouse cursor over any of the element it gets highlighted it gets it gains a focus so that is an event so it's an event because it is related with javascript graphics defined by svg is in which format it is in xml format Because SBZ is a part of uh, SVXML, so it's a part of XML. The HTML canvas element is used to draw graphics, display database records, manipulate data in MySQL, create trackable elements. So, uh, see, the canvas has got nothing to do with the database, nor, neither it's, it's a jQuery, it's, a, it's just used to draw graphics, align, anything as such. In HTML, which attribute is used to specify that an input field must be filled out? That is called required. So if you make any input field required, it will not let you go to the next particular next page until and unless that is filled. So we have five more questions to go. We are on 36 question. Which input type defines a slider control? Okay, that's a good question. Which input type defines a slider control? That is range. So with range, you get a slider to select from minimum to maximum. Which HTML element is used to display a scalar measurement within a range? That is called meter. Okay, now we have more three questions to go. We are on 38 now in which HTML element defines a navigation link? It's nav. We have a nav element to define this a navigation link uh, for menus as you can see these menus. These are all nav elements. In HTML, what does the assigned elements mean? That means a sidebar. So a navigation list to be shown at the left side of the page. The ASCII character set to send information between computers on the internet. No, 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 this isn't the answer. The content aside from the page content. Oh, mm, it's not like that. It may be the first one, the sidebar, as I told you. Which HTML element is used to specify a header for a document or section? So for a header or document or a section, we have a head. Sorry, it's for a document or section. For a section, we have header, but again, we have a we have a head element as well. So let's see which one is correct. I don't know how much how will I score, but definitely score more than ninety percent. Oh, as you can see, thirty-seven out of forty questions are correct. We you can be proud of yourself. Yes, I am. So we have scored ninety-two percent. We can also check which were, which of our answers went wrong, so we can understand and we would be improving so this is a great thing about HD about w3 school certification okay so this went wrong what i said i'm not sure about 
Okay, we'll see the next questions which one went wrong. Okay, so drop down is wrong. 